I absolutely hate to say this, but house rental scams are on the rise and real estate scams really make my blood boil. One, because it reflects badly on the whole profession, and two, because it directly impacts people's most basic need for shelter. It's not okay. Anyways, since I can't make all of the scammers stop, I decided I could share five tips to help protect you and your hard-earned dollars when it comes to detecting and avoiding rental scams. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back and for spending your time with me. My name is Lindsay and I'm proud to be your Anthem Arizona Realtor with the Wise Move AZ team at Realty One Group. On this channel, we have a lot of fun talking about all things Anthem and real estate every single Thursday and we absolutely love having you along for the ride. Rental scams can take many different forms and scammers always seem to be cooking up new ways to fraud people out of their money. In general, home rental scams seem to take one of two forms. The first is a hijacked ad. This is when the fraudster lists a home for rent that may currently be for rent, for sale, or not on the market at all, and they actually don't have any legitimate connection to that property. They're pretending to rent a property that they have no legal rights over. The second is a phantom property. This is when the property doesn't really exist. For example, they say they're renting you 123 Main Street, but 123 Main Street doesn't really exist. In either case, the goal of the fraudsters is usually to collect your deposit money or application money and then ride off into the sunset never to be seen again. In more insidious cases, they may be hoping to get enough personal information to steal your identity. Either way, it's super gross and upsetting. So if you're currently looking for a rental or you'll be looking for a rental in the future, let's talk about what you can do to avoid falling victim to one of these scams. Number one, know who you're talking to. Chances are you'll start looking for rental properties online. When you find one you like, you'll reach out to the contact person listed. Do they want you to call? Or will they only communicate with you by email or text? Who do they claim to be? Are they the owner of the property, a realtor or property manager, or are they someone else altogether? If they claim to be the owner, I want you to try and verify that. We live in Maricopa County and here it's very easy to pull up the Maricopa County Assessor's website, type in an address and see the name of the current owner. It may be different or harder to track down that information in your area, but do some research and see if you can determine who the current property owner is. Make sure the name you find matches the name you're being given by the person on the other end of the phone. If they claim to be a realtor, I want you to try and verify that too. In Arizona, you can pop onto the Arizona Department of Real Estate's website and look up an agent. You want to make sure that they show up and they're in good standing. If they aren't listed or it appears their license is no longer in good standing, this could be a red flag. Do some more digging online to see if you can read reviews, check out their social media presence, and so on. If they claim to be someone other than the owner or an agent, this could be another red flag. Ask them to explain their relationship to the owner and listen for any inconsistencies. If they claim to be an employee of a property management company, look that company up on the Better Business Bureau or something similar, and then call the company to verify that that employee does in fact work there. If you can't satisfy yourself that this person has a legitimate relationship to the property, I don't think you should go any further. Number two, research the address. If the person you're talking to checks out and they don't give you the creeps, that's great, but it's not enough. Some of the most dangerous scammers are insanely charming and seem super normal. I also want you to dig into the address. If you're interested in renting a property, the address should be made available to you right away. If they won't give you the address, you guessed it, red flag. Assuming you do have the address, look it up online. Are you finding the same rental listing in several different places? Do they all use the same description and photos? If so, that's usually a good sign. 
someone who genuinely wants to rent their property will usually advertise in several different places. Someone who's trying to fly under the radar may not. That's right, cryptic, too good to be true, Craigslist ad, we're talking about you. If the home looks like it's for sale in one place, but for rent in another, that's a concern. It's not uncommon for homes that are actively listed for sale to be targeted for these scams. Consider calling the listing agent and asking if they were aware that the property was also being listed for rent. Do any prior rental listings for the property come up? Do the photos look similar? Again, here in Maricopa County, we can use the assessor's website to see if the property is marked as a rental. Seeing that the home has a history of being rented could be a good sign. If this isn't the case, don't panic. It isn't necessarily a scam. This could be the first time that the home is being rented out. The true owner of a property would be happy to discuss that with you. Number three, see it first. Please, 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 if at all possible, do not rent this home sight unseen. I know you're excited and you're anxious to get your new place lined up, but seriously, please don't put any deposits down upfront without seeing the property. A scammer will push you to make deposits quickly. They want you to believe that you'll miss out on the house if you don't put down a deposit right now. If you can't be there in person, see if you can have a friend, a family member, or a colleague tour the property for you. Alternatively, you could consider hiring a local realtor to assist you. Seeing the property in person doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a scam. Scammers have been known to break into vacant homes and offer them for rent, including tours, while the owners are not around. That being said, if you see it in person and the description and the photos are accurate, it's a good sign. When you see the property in person, I want you to pay attention to whether it's vacant or occupied. Is there furniture around? Does it look like someone lives there right now? If so, ask about it. When will they be vacating? And when will the property be ready for a new tenant? Lastly, when you go to see the property, take someone with you. You don't wanna risk being alone in a home with a scammer or worse. Like my dad always told me, there's safety in numbers. That friend can also be the voice of reason if the person you meet insists that you hand over money to see the property. Number four, read all the documents. Yes, rental documents are boring, and yes, I know that you want to just hurry up and move in already. But wait, I really want you to read all of the documents before signing. Remember, unless you've enlisted the help of an agent, a lawyer, or some other professional, there is no one looking out for your best interest other than you. The landlord or the landlord's agent only represents the best interest of the landlord. Typically, the rental documents will include the following, the lease agreement, the application form or authorization for a background check, and other supporting documents or addenda. Make sure that the true property owner is listed on the lease. You do not want to sublease the property from someone else. It's almost impossible to verify that they have any rights to the property. Leases can be faked and signatures can be forged. Make sure that you're renting directly from the property owner. It's okay if they have a property manager as an intermediary, but make sure that they're reputable. Make sure you know what they're doing to vet you as a tenant. A good landlord wants to make sure that they're getting a reliable tenant, not just the first person who responds to the ad. If you ask what their process is, including how they'll be comparing applicants and they don't have a convincing answer, that's a red flag. Number five, don't rush. You might be thinking, seriously, doesn't Lindsay know if I don't lock this property in right now, it could be gone? Yes, I do. I work in this crazy, frantic market all day, every day. I feel your pain. But you know what's more important? that you don't get taken advantage of. Scammers prey on people who are in vulnerable situations. They want to create a sense of urgency, they want to take advantage of an already crazy market, and they want to strike when emotions are high. It's the perfect storm. I know how scary it can be looking for a place to rent. 
When I moved to Vegas to go to school, I drove there with literally no place to live, a couple of nights booked in a hotel, and all of my belongings in the back of the car. I know how tempting it is to sign a lease before you get there sight unseen or to sign a lease at the first place you find. But please, don't rush. Stay calm. If the landlord is putting pressure on you to sign something quickly or to hand over money quickly, it should be setting off some alarm bells for you. If rent seems lower than average for the area, you should be cautious. If you miss out on a few properties because you had a bad feeling, that's okay. There will be others. I am a firm believer in trusting your instincts. Remember that you need to be comfortable with the landlord or property manager. They're going to be your point of contact if something goes wrong after you move in. So there you have it. My intention with this video wasn't to scare you, but rather to put a few more tools in your toolkit to sniff out a scam and save your money. These scams break my heart because I know how devastating the loss can be for individuals and families trying to make a move. If you'll be renting in Arizona, I strongly recommend that you read the Landlord Tenant Act. This will help you to understand your rights and obligations as a tenant and to understand the rights and obligations of your landlord. I'll link to a copy in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and leaving me a comment. If you want to learn about renting a home in beautiful Anthem, Arizona, click to watch this video up top. Or if you'd like to learn about other real estate frauds that you need to watch out for, click to watch this video on the bottom. Enjoy those and I'll see you next Thursday.